Hi, welcome back to EPG. I am Greg, your host. Today we're going to talk about one of the most fun things that I did on my little uh, world trip, and that was island hopping around Croatia and then eventually ending up at Hvar. Uh, Croatia is absolutely beautiful. It's a coastal country, uh, so a lot of you know water sports and things to do on the water, boating. Um, yeah, no, it's beautiful. So my trip started um, in Split, Croatia, which was actually kind of the summer palace of the Emperor Diocletian. So it's very Romanesque. There's a lot of uh, columns and lots of marble everywhere. Uh, people dressed up as centurions walking around. Uh, it was even the basement for a couple of dragons uh, <laughs> in a very popular TV show. Um, but anyway, so the tour began down at the port. So I made my way down there, met the tour company. Uh, and they put a lot of people onto a Zodiac type boat that had uh, inflatable seats. Uh, so I believe it was four aside. So that means eight people total were going. I was wedged between an Indian couple. Uh, so that was kind of interesting. Um, but anyway, the tour began, you know, cruising through the Adriatic. And we went to a place called the Blue Cave, uh, which is, you know, just as the name sounds, it's a cave uh, that we were able to take another boat into, kind of like a gondola. But the interesting thing about this was that it was a cave and there was a part of the cave that collapsed. So the water, um, the light that was getting reflected was coming up through the cave, through the water, and it gave everything a blue hue. So it was very pretty to be in there, uh, especially if you're a big fan of the color blue, like I am. Uh, the next place we went was, well, we actually passed uh, Stevina Beach, which has been voted the best beach in the world, uh, much like with the Blue Cave, where um, part of, it was based in a cave, there's a beach inside a cave, uh, and it was kind of like a skylight in there, uh, where um, kind of the top of the cave fell through, and then light can come through, there's a beach inside, and you can swim into the cave, swim out. Uh, unfortunately, we had to pass it because it was already about 11 in the morning, and it was already very crowded, everybody, you know, parked. Uh, in their boats and they are swimming around the beach and up into the cave and doing all that. So instead of going to the greatest beach in the world, we went to probably one of the worst, <laughs> which uh, it was pretty bad. Um, wasn't really set up for people. There are there were people anchored there uh, swimming around. There were a lot of sea urchins everywhere. So you need to be really careful where you were swimming. Uh, there were nicotine addicted donkeys that were on the beach. Uh, there was kind of a bar area, uh, but they everything there was so overpriced. Um, there was dead seagulls, so I mean, not the best beach to you know take people to, but uh, I mean, we still swam around and it was it was okay. Um, but after that, after we did all the swimming, uh, we went to the beautiful party island of Hvar. Um, yeah, it was it was kind of like almost being in Italy, you know, because they had buildings everywhere that kind of focused around a port area. Uh, they had great hills that you could walk up and down, uh, stairs and steps. And it was really beautiful there, but you know, I was, it was uh, like springtime, so the sun was out. I'm, you know, very fair and light skinned, so I was getting a little sunburn and I could feel it. So I decided to go to the Hotel Adriana and uh, drown my pain in a couple dark and stormies. And I knew I picked the right place because the crew uh, from my boat decided to go there as well to hang out while people walked around far. Uh, at the end of the day, we all got back into those Zodiac boats and went back to the port of Split and I would do it again. Um, no, it was a great time. Just, I've never seen water that blue before. Uh, it was entertaining. The crew was young and hip and happening. And yeah, they knew everything about Croatia, especially me having a lot of questions about it. Um, but no, it was, it was definitely something I would do again. And hopefully if you go to Croatia, you will do it too. So thank you very much for your time and get out there.